All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweep from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing certainly is bred and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaVey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia, the free. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Unable to connect there. Head kick attempt, it's blocked.
looking to land the leg kick now. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. Powerful leg kick land. Big powerful punch land. Now we'll get back to the ring. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Can't take many of those, you better check. Pretty good right hand. Blocks the strike. Oh, collar tie. Oh, big elbow. And they separate. Big shot lands. All right, single collar tie now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Another leg kick lands. Big kick lands. And that left hook landed on the button. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, inside leg kick lands for him, DC. That was beautiful technique. He's beating up both sides of the leg. A lot of times you see guys doing outside kicks. He's switched it up now, and he's beating up the inside of his opponent. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? I want to see those takedowns. Huge block there. Yeah. <laughs> Both guys landing big shots. Boy, Ty Plump. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Under a minute now to go on the round. Busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds. Five minutes in the books. Well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should lob the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. 
least there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive thru <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hands. Man. Nice left hand there on the inside. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Lands with the right hand. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice. He loaded up there on that high kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace. An uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Sound defensively blocks the shot. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice punch lands over the top. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Great kicks there. <laughs> Slips the left hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Big head kick land. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. How good is that right hand? All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch there. You got to check these low leg kicks. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Beautiful straight counter. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 10 seconds remain in round two. 10 minutes in the books. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. 
he's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He loaded up on that right hand, too. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Wow. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Set up your he's got him whip his hip into that kick. Three minutes to go in the round. He landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, that right hand is on point. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, big head kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Good punch. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Beautiful kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Big punch lands through the middle. Head movement to slip the left hand. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Of they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. 15 seconds to go. 
straight punch. Five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. He blocks the shot. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big body kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here. Just out of range. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at how he drives the speed. Right into his opponent's midsection. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Under three minutes remain in round four. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, blocks the shot. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Slips the punch nicely there. Kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Nice uppercut inside. Looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Big and kick. And he caught the kick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Nice body kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh! Look 
at the turtle in that kick. 30 seconds to go now. Punch coming, it's blocked. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Push kick there to the body. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. The right hand just misses. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right punches there. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Liver kick. That's a big strike right there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that with the body work, pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Watch knees to the body. Out of range with that one. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Body kick is blocked. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Nice. Over and over, he landed with big body kick. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Nice stupid punch. Fight now, I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Straight punch lands. Punches one. And he switches his stance yet again. Again, they will clinch. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Inside low kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 
good stick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Under one minute to go, fifth and final round. Head kick, that's a miss. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Beautiful. Technique for him there on that sidekick. What a fight! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Play the winner by unanimous decision. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight and he won it in dominant fashion.